Good morning, happy weekly vlog. So it's Monday, it's actually maybe not even morning anymore depending on who you are, it's like 11 a.m. I've been up since 7.30 but kind of just hanging out in bed, feeling baby kick. And it's like a snow day here, it snowed like 10 centimeters overnight and it's snowing more and then it's gonna rain today. So I've gotten a request for Travis not to leave the house because he's like so terrified that I'm gonna like fall on ice and stuff with the babies so I'm just like clumsy and he knows it so I'm gonna have a little snow day for myself at home today and I am just trying to figure out what to have for breakfast slash brunch he got chocolate chip eggos which I haven't had since I was like I don't know like in middle school but I used to love them so much I just had like this craving for it so I really want that but I actually realized that I have cream cheese that exp is expiring soon. So I'm gonna check how long, like how long I have before I have to eat it. I don't know what I was thinking. It's not expiring till May. So chocolate chip eggos it is and a lot of water because I am so dehydrated this morning. And then maybe an orange, I'm craving some like citrus. I am wearing my vintage oversized fleece vest I got from shop one of a few. And then a crew neck from Anna and Zach, really old gap sweatpants, which you don't need to see um probably not gonna change out of that today i had like in my mind that i wanted to do like a no sweatpant week challenge might start tomorrow just because it's so cold and gloomy out i just i can't <laughs> Um, the one problem with not problem I guess like something that's changed significantly with pregnancy is like obviously my appetite so I had like two egos and um, one everything bagel with herb and garlic cream cheese so it was really good up until like now I'm digesting and I'm feeling so full I'm just going through a brief right now so that I can create some concepts for a really cozy campaign that I have coming up but I also um, this morning was shopping some baby clothes from a store called at noon i think it's called so i just want to show you some really really cute like sweatshirt robbers that i think i'm gonna order so there's like this one which is literally like an oversized sweatshirt but like with the baby robber bottom and then there's this one that's like a waffle version of that of that and then i really want to get this baby dinosaur jumpsuit because it is so cute so those are three items that i'm looking at excuse me but baby clothes are so expensive but i haven't bought like really too many clothes for the baby yet so i feel like this could be a splurge because these are like this is like the vibe i've been thinking about for the baby anyways and i feel like they're all like pretty neutral and they're for like three to six months because the baby will be born in june so by the time it's like cold enough for i guess like long sleeves it'll be like september to december so i feel like these would fit so i think i might do it it's just so cute and i feel like i haven't done anything i haven't bought anything for the baby really other than like the teddy bear fleece that i got from um what is it called smitten bb smitten bib don't really know how to pronounce it but i'll put it up here as well so literally haven't gotten too much so i might do it all right so i basically haven't really moved from the table i've just cleaned the kitchen from last night's dinner but i did order uber eats from my favorite thai place in guelph red papaya so i got these drunken noodles these were not the noodles i was expecting i usually don't like like thick ones like that i thought that they were gonna be like almost like udon noodles but they're not i'm gonna give it a try it smells really good it's usually just the texture of these like flat noodles i'm not the biggest fan of and i also got some tom yum soup which i always love i might save some for dinner though because i'm actually not feeling as hungry as i was when i ordered it the baby's moving a lot today like crazy crazy amounts and i for some reason like my nose wouldn't stop running i'm just like feeling a little under the weather today so i've just been doing like computer work i might lie down for a bit afterwards just because it's one of those days so anyways might not be the most interesting day for the vlog but i'll probably see you tomorrow good morning it is wednesday so yesterday i ended up having no time to vlog 
I ended up going to a prenatal massage, which was really nice. Um, and then I was like driving around doing errands all day and I forgot my camera and I just felt like it wasn't super interesting. And then I had to rush home and get a whole bunch of work done because I feel like anytime I'm not at the computer for like a couple hours, it's just like crazy. Well, yesterday, one of the errands I run I ran was um, going to get bread. We always go get bread like on Tuesdays at Cobb's because Travis just like likes their loaves there the best. And I treated myself to one of their cheese pull apart loaves. If you've never had it, oh my God, it's so good. It's basically like a super oily <laughs> loaf that has cheese in it and it pulls apart. And when you heat it up, it basically smells like a cheese stick from like a pizza place. So that's what I am eating this morning. Baby was moving again a lot today. Like I feel like it's getting ready to flip because it's like the movements are getting bigger. So that will be really weird and interesting to feel when that happens. So I have a package that I packed for my closet sale and Basically, I tried printing out labels online this time, but I'm testing out one first to make sure that it's proper before I spend like up, like over hundreds of dollars on shipping labels and like I end up doing it wrong. So we're gonna do that today. I have to go pick up my boots. So remember the row boots that I said that I was gonna return. I found a shoe place that was like able to stretch it out a bit. So I'm gonna go see if like it stretched out enough. Go from there. And I have to film a video today that is for the best winter coats, which I'm super excited about because I've been wanting to do this for like two years now. And I just like never had a chance to get all the jackets together. And I do now. And yeah, that's the catch up so far. Also, I feel like my skin has been super healthy. Um, I've been trying this, the Truly Glowing line from Burt's Bees. It was like part of a campaign that I was trying out. And like, it just like my skin loves it so much. I'll show it to you maybe later today, if not tomorrow. It's like a whole line of products that I've been using. And honestly, like the little red dots that I was getting around here, like during pregnancy, it's still like kind of there, but like within days of using, I like the cream and the oil, I think together have really like calmed it down. So it's like so good. And it's all of like natural origins. So it's good for pregnancy. Okay, I'm gonna eat, finish eating before it gets too cold. Do I like about you I like? You're crazy for saying I should slow down. Okay, it is 7.30. So after I went out to run my errands, um, I came back home and tried to film my best winter coats video, which I'm about to edit now. I didn't have a chance to do another video for tomorrow. So I'm going to try to film it in the morning and then publish it later that night. But the Canada Post thing seemed to have worked. They don't even like check weight or the size of it which is weird and they're like oh yes prepaid so it should be fine and i'm like okay but like what if i said it was like two by two and it was like 10 by 15 so i'm kind of confused about it but i guess i'm gonna go forward with printing out the other labels and hope for the best and i'll do that tomorrow so i'll show you then there's like 12 packages i think i need to get sent off and i just took a shower something's going up with a shower because it's cold so like the hot water is like no longer as cold which really sucks and it's just like an uncomfortable shower i know like cold showers are supposed to be like healthy for you but it's just not the same it just is really like more stressful than anything because i'm like i'm like trying to get everything done really quickly so i can run out of the shower <sighs> so we have to figure out what's going on with that it's essentially like i have the shower at the hottest of the hot possible and it still doesn't even feel warm so really not okay with that. Baby's kicking a lot again right now. I have some caribou candies because I've been craving something gummy and they're my favorites. So I'm gonna snack on that while I edit. And I've been actually looking at some wallpaper for the nursery. Urban Walls is a Canadian brand that actually reached out to see if I wanted to partner. So I actually found a really, really pretty wallpaper and a mural, which is, I don't really know the difference. I think it's just like a really big piece of it that I would love. And so I responded to them to see if it was something they could send me. So I will, I guess, show you a little like snippet of what it would look like right there. And yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go do some work and I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow because I have something that I have to wake up for, I think. Yes, we have the Nespresso event tomorrow. Good morning. Um, it is 7.30. I've been up since five. 
my little buddy in the oven has been kicking since like 5 a.m so i've just been literally lying in bed trying to go back to sleep but i couldn't so i was on my phone finally got out of bed i'm printing out all the shipping labels for my closet sale and we'll drop that off today but i think since i'm up early i'm gonna go to mcdonald's and um go grab a breakfast sandwich and bring it back and then pack the labels and then drop it off at the canada post store so i'm gonna go put on some pants actually i don't know why i'm here this got really itchy this morning you can see like it that's what happens every so often but the redness in like the rest of my face has really gone down. I think it's because I was lying on this side this morning, but it's really itchy. Heading out to go get McDonald's. I'm wearing my Aritzia, like, um, what is this one called? It's one of my Aritzia jackets. My Tiki's hoodie and some Zara pants. I'm gonna put on some shoes, obviously, but this is the first outfit of the day. confused though by the pricing because last time I got two hash browns for the same price so it might have been a mistake and then another time I went with Travis they charged us like more for only getting one hash brown so quite confused about hash brown pricing but I only got one this time and I just bit my lip sausage and egg McMuffin it's my favorite okay so I am just about to pack all my orders i have the bags all packed and i have the printouts i don't want to show anyone's address but i have all the printouts from in the post got some decaf coffee and i'm just gonna pack the orders yes i'm just too scared to settle down there'd be many nights i got too hot and almost left town but there's something about you Something about you I like, about you I like. Okay, I am ready to take my IKEA bag worth of shipments. Oh my god. To shoppers. It's really heavy, so I'm gonna have to put down the camera, but I thought I would show you how sunny it is in the sunroom right now. I'm really loving it. Um yeah, I'm gonna quickly go and then head back because the Nespresso event is in an hour. So I just want to make sure I'm not rushing. Nobody loves me better. Almost forgot to show you that I got sushi for lunch. <laughs> Ignore these. These are from my Haribo collection from yesterday. I just don't like the clear ones. So I always throw them out. So I'm going to throw it out with the leftover stuff cucumber roll tempura yam roll unagi and avocado roll the rice is like kind of hard so it's not really good today it's really not hitting the spot but sad face oh well at least i'm eating lunch good morning it is saturday morning it's about i want to say like 10 o'clock i had breakfast watched a little bit of white collar on disney plus a lot of you were asking where i'm streaming it from we are like travis just went to hamilton because he had to like do some training stuff for our work and then we are going to go to home hardware i think to do like some paint picking pick some paint for like the pantry and under stairwell area because like apparently they're having a sale so we're gonna use them i'm really out of breath sorry guys um baby i do want to show you the birds bees stuff that i've been using for my face because i have been loving it so much okay so this is what i've been using lately and i think it's just like such good stuff I feel like I have like a double chin right now. But anyways, okay, so this line is like the Burt's Bees Truly Glowing line. So I have this guy. This is like a foam cleansers, cucumber mint. It feels so good. It smells so good. It's just like super, super gentle. And then sometimes I do like a double cleanse. And so then I use the gel cleanser, which is also super gentle, but it has like hyaluronic acid in it. So it just like also keeps your face like super moisturized. And then... I do this, which I think I showed you like last time. The more specific, what's it called? Vintage ex Single Extract Essence. So that's kind of like my toner lately. This is the night cream and it's like pretty thick. It's kind of like that. It's nice. My skin's been loving it. Like sometimes with creams, I can tell pretty quickly if my skin likes it. 
um, because my skin is so reactive. Like it just, it won't look, it just won't look normal. Like you'll start getting patches and stuff. And it didn't with this. And then this is the day cream, which is like their newest thing. I think the gel cream, which is a little bit lighter. You can kind of see a little bit bouncier. It's like just lighter for the day. But this guy is the one I've been loving the most, which is the oil. It has like antioxidant rich oils, which my skin has just been drinking up. And I think that that's the one that's like made the most difference in my skin. So like if you're not gonna try like all of these things, I definitely rec recommend trying the little oil. I was using the Drunk Elephant one for a little bit, well for a long time, but I feel like my skin like gets used to it. And like sometimes that's what happens with skincare. The potency of it like stops working as well because you just use it all the time. So I'm switching things up and this is a new routine that I've been really loving. So I'm just gonna brush my teeth, wash my face and get changed. All right, so I ended up showering and got changed wearing my super oversized Oakenfort sweater and some airy leggings, which I'll show you in two seconds. And Travis is just finishing up something in the reno zone and then we're gonna go to Home Depot to test out some paints. He doesn't like the clay color that I chose. So we're gonna look at some like sagey greens. Hopefully we find a good one that we can both agree on. And it's like super rainy out today and gloomy. So I'm just like super tired. I was gonna show you some new goodies that I got in, but I don't know like how much time I have before we have to go to home hardware. So let me just go check. Travis, are you almost ready? Travis? I think he's still mudding. Um, so maybe we can do it now. All right, let's do it. All right, so this is the Oakenfort oversized sweater that I think I've been wearing the most lately just because it's so easy and literally just fits over my leggings and belly perfectly. Um, this is like a size large or extra large, so I definitely size way up if you want it to fit like this, and it's super comfy. At first when I like originally got it, I thought it would be maybe a little itchy and uncomfortable, but it hasn't been bothering me at all, I think because it's so loosey-goosey. And then these are the airy leggings that I showed you before with like the lace up and the ribbing throughout the leg and then just with some wool socks. So one of the items I got were the Lululemon Align leggings because you guys keep talking about it and say that it's literally your pregnancy best friend. I only found a size 4 in like a color that I would even consider wearing so I'm going to try that on and see if they fit. I got this length 28 inches. All right, so the size four seems to fit. I mean, they're leggings, so they should. I feel like it's a little tight around the belly, but I don't know, because like I have some size six leggings from Lululemon, and I feel like they're a little bit like wrinkly at some points, so I might keep this. I don't know if it's too dark in here for you guys to see. Good time for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better yet. Get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die. So I have my box of stuff that I got, so we'll walk through it and do a little try on haul for the end of this vlog. What? what I'm filming. No. I'm filming because I'm trying to finish my weekly vlog. You said I can't come downstairs. The better like that maybe. And then I'll sit here and then I am going to have this frame as the try on. So this is a mixture of stuff. Like you saw the Lululemon Align pants already. I think I've decided I want to keep them. I'm just going to double check online to see if any more sizes came available, became available. But this stuff is from H&M and American Eagle. This is a oversized sweater. I have to keep stuff on this side. So the material is actually quite nice. It's got it in a large. This is 60% cotton, 40% polyester. It actually feels really nice. I like it. It's like a lightweight, some little shorts that are really cute too. It's very nice, like lightweight cotton. So cotton polyester. I think it'll be really good for spring and summer. And then I got this vest, which looks like that. It's 
It's a nice little ribbing action going on. Got it in a size medium. 59% cotton and 41% acrylic. Obviously I'd prefer if it was like 100% cotton, but it's got enough of that like cottony texture that I feel like I'm going to quite enjoy this when it's on. Okay, and then I got the legging in gray, you remember? So in my like pregnancy pants video, I showed you like a camel colored like rib legging with like a flare opening. So I got the gray version because I like the shape so much. Okay, so this is a PJ top because I got a matching PJ set. It's just a really cute little like navy ribbed number. It's super soft. So technically it's like an airy number, but essentially like I'm trying to get pants that have drawstrings um, because it's just getting uncomfortable when I'm sleeping at night if the elastic's too tight. And I can't find a lot of like good maternity PJs. There's a lot of like gowns, but I don't like wearing dresses in general, but also in bed, especially. I like to have like pants over. At least they're in a size small, right? Yeah. So these are the pants. So these actually aren't drawstrings. So I don't know why I got these. They just look really soft, maybe. So the little gingham style. I got them in the blue, so it still matched the top. It has a cute little pocket detail here. And they're just really, really lightweight cotton. So you should be good. Okay, so next are some more sweatsuits. I don't know why I've been really loving the color light blue. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm gonna try to scooch a little bit closer so you guys can hear me. Okay, long light blue joggers. With a matching sweatsuit material top that I got in a size large. Yeah, got this in a size large. It's pretty cute. I'm really liking light blue to like have options. I got the short version of them too, so I can still wear it as a set when it's warmer out. Then last but not least, I don't know if I'll keep this. I was like very um, adventurous when I decided to get this next set. Bright yellow, which is actually really cute. I didn't know how like the cord, it's like a corded material. I didn't know how that would go in real life, but it's actually really, really soft. So we're gonna try it on. And yes, it has matching shorts. It has matching shorts. So yeah, that's my mini haul. Um, let me think if I have anything else to say to you <laughs> before I end this vlog. Alrighty, I think that's it for the vlog. I don't really have anything else to update you all on um, for now. I think I'm going to do a pregnancy specific update video next week. So if you guys have any questions about like how my second trimester went, leave them down in the comments section below and I will see you next time.